Would I be the arsehole for not attending my brother's birthday party because I can tea bring my dog? I have a three-year-old German Shepherd who is the sweetest dog I've ever met. She's very cuddly and loving once she has gotten used to you. However, she was abused as a puppy and has separation anxiety. Edit we've been working with a professional trainer and she's been making improvements but currently, leaving her home alone for more than an hour simple isn't he possible edit and my brother lives 45 minutes away. It has hard to gain her trust, so getting someone to watch her on short notice is nearly impossible. The last time I visited my brother, his wife stepped on Louis' tail and quite obviously, it hurt. She didn't e bite or even try to do so but she barked quite loudly before running to hide behind me. I asked my sill whether she were all right and she said she was, so I didn't think anything else of it. After all, she de known Lou for almost two years before the incident. But when my brother invited me to his birthday party next weekend, he told me to leave Lou at home and when I asked for the reason, he told me sill thought she was too aggressive to be around the guests. She isn't he, but it has their house, their rules and I want to respect her wishes, so I simply called my usual dog sitter who told me that unfortunately, they weren't available. Anyone else who has watched Lou in the past will also be at my brother's party so I don't have anyone to watch her. I told my brother I could either. I bring Lou and keep her on leash at all times. Or be take Lou with me and take turns with my mum walking her around the neighbor so I could be able to stay a bit without his wife having to face my dog. Or see come over with Lou in the car to congratulate him and bring over his present but leave shortly afterwards as I don't he want her to be alone in the car for more than 15 minutes. He told me that he didn't like any of these options because his wife didn't want my aggressive dog on their property, in their driveway or in their neighborhood in general. I apologized and told him if that was the case, I wouldn't be able to come at all. He has told me he's disappointed but especially my sill has been bombarding me with texts about how I was selfish for putting my dog before my brother, and that I was an hour of a sister to do that to him on his 40th birthday. I think I have proposed reasonable enough compromises edit and because all of them were declined, I don't see what other options I have left except for staying home but in the end, I do still like to hear the opinions of unbiased internet strangers to be sure. Info where does the dog stay when you have to leave the house for errands grocery store, target runs, etc and work? Not the asshole. Next time sitter is available, leave dog with them, and go out to do something for your brother's belated birthday and give him his present. There, simple. Info do you have a trainer working with her? The fact that you've had the dog for at least two years and can't be away from her for more than an hour is not sustainable. What do you plan on doing for the next decade? What about your job? What if you want to take a vacation? What if you get sick injured? I honestly don't think it's healthy for you or the dog to simply isolate yourself only attend dog friendly events for her entire life. But you do you. Not the asshole you were invited to the party. You can politely decline to go to a party. I have not been on vacation for four years because I have a large house dog. She doesn't do well in hot weather. She has separation anxiety for me to go on longer than 10-12 hours. She is okay with my in-laws but starts to hunt for us after a few hours. So we simply don't go if we can't take her. Dogs are a commitment that you sign up for. Nah if they don't like any of the options you gave them, they shouldn't expect you to attend. Not wanting the dog in their neighborhood is a bit over the top. I know you love your dog. But if you can't leave it alone for over an hour that's a big problem. You are making your life revolve around the dog. Pets should add to your life, not take things and people away from it. Please get help from a trainer to help your dog overcome its separation anxiety. Not the asshole. Let me get this straight, your sill hurt your dog. And he barked. Now she doesn't want him around as he's aggressive. Does she know that dogs bark as communication and not aggression? An aggressive dog would fight not speak. 
I think this is just about your sill having her way, and the dog makes people happy. It's a birthday party, not a court summons. You offered alternatives, they said no. Emo, stepping on a dog's tail even if in accident, it will make a dog react. If barking is all that happened, and that is enough for her to label your dog as aggressive. Well, your sill has a lot to learn. Starting with where to put her feet. Not the asshole. Nah. Your dog is preventing you from attending some social event if that is how you want your life to be, then it's only up to you. Sucks for your friend's family, but that's your decisions. You cannot be forced to abandon your pet, but you cannot force people to be around him. Info your sill had known Lou for about two years and a loud buck followed by running away and hiding behind you let she ban your dog, albeit she is a dog person? Was there more to it? I mean, please don't get me wrong, but knowing a dog for years and then banning it completely seems a bit overreacting. Nah, with the slight exception of Syl because of her badgering. You seem pretty clear on the fact that you signed up for this lifestyle when you adopted Lou and you're comfortable with that. Your brother also seems pretty chill about the situation. Who watches the dog when you go to work? Now their house their rules your dog your responsibility. I would really look into more options to have on hand for dog sitters though. There may be a time when you need an emergency sitter. Nah. But I am a little concerned by you saying that it is hard to find a sitter on short notice. Did you not know your brother's birthday was coming up next weekend? Ha ha. You're the asshole. You have a large, potentially dangerous, anxiety-ridden dog and you want to take it to a party. How inappropriate. I understand your issue we to have a German shepherd that was abandoned. He laid on the side of the road where he was left for two weeks waiting for his owner to return he then moved to a field and after six weeks he allowed people to feed him. Our dog also has anxiety from this. It is difficult when you rescue an abandoned animal. Glad you are working with the trains, not the asshole. Assuming you are not sugarcoating poor doggy behavior, I'd say nah. You do not have to attend an event your dog can't go to, that's your choice. Were my sibling not to attend such an event because of their dog not being invited, I also might feel slighted not to the extent I would lambaste them but still. I hope you are crate training Lou for everyone's sake. Nah. There's nothing arsehole about anyone here, however, you should probably face the following reality. You really need to learn how to leave your dog sometimes. Nobody wants you to bring your dog to any events, that's the simple reality. Dogs can be stressful and create anxiety for everyone who isn't the owner. Nobody wants your dog in their house. I was so ready to be mad at you but you made a big effort and offered multiple reasonable compromises. It sucks you're not going, but not the asshole. There is always two sides to every story and the only version we have is Ops version. For the dog to be so quickly banned and not welcome many more there is the other side of the story that we are not hearing. We need more info to figure out what is really going on here. Nah but I can't relate to choosing a dog over family at all. It seems like a sucky situation. It's your decision to put your dog above everybody else but don't be surprised when you stop getting invites to things. You're the asshole to your dog. You need to hire a professional walker so that if you need to go somewhere, you can have someone your dog trusts come over and let her out. Not some random person from Facebook, not a revolving door of people from an app an insured professional. Not the asshole and don't even worry about it. You would be TA if you brought your dog to a place she isn't welcome. You can't bring her and you can't leave her alone at home. So it's pretty simple. You can't go to the party. Your silk can just STF you about it. She is the roadblock to all the suggestions you offered to try to make this work. Sil needs a little time out. Nah. But if you're going to always prioritize the dog over humans in your life, don't be surprised when your human relationships suffer and people aren't there for you. Not being able to leave a dog for over an hour does sound very sustainable to me. Nah. 
They have the right to ban the dog, you have a right to stay home. Not the asshole you've offered a series of options and they've refused them all. Just send a card and small gift and you're good. A party invite isn't a summons, you're free to decline for any reason. Not the asshole. Would be nice, but then you're still decided that your attendance was required and blew up your phone. Why do people think they need to bring their dogs everywhere? I have dogs. I do not take them shopping, to other people's home or to any public venues unless they are specifically dog friendly. You're the asshole if you've had that dog for two years and still can't leave them alone for an hour. Dogs don't need to go everywhere. Sounds like you're just setting that dog up for failure. This sub makes me hate dog owners even more. I'm sorry you had the dog for two years and you can't leave the house more than an hour. Why are so many people terrible at training their dog and then they always have to take it everywhere and force it onto everyone else? ESH Is she crate trained? The crate was the only way I could leave my puppy at home for any amount of time. She would get very destructive. Lost two couches, an ottoman and a recliner to her. She saw her crate as a safe space and eventually got to where she could be left out of it while I am gone. I have no problems leaving her alone now, besides her getting into the trash once in a blue moon. She is a German Shepherd Husky mix. ETA I also had a nanny cam pointed at her crate and would frequently check on her when gone.